Welcome, friends, to this Thursday edition of, of Take 5, our uh, reflection, midweek reflection on the scriptures. And today we're looking at the passage for today from our Bible reading and reflection guide uh, from Acts chapter 21. And uh, this, this part details uh, the last legs of Paul's journey from Ephesus to Jerusalem. Uh, the first part of that is by ship on the Mediterranean coast there. Uh, and then uh, the last part, when he gets to Caesarea, they, they go by land. And um, uh, some, one of the stops there in Tyre, it says that the believers uh, said this to Paul. It said, uh, through the Spirit, they urged Paul not to go to Jerusalem. And a little further down, it says when they, they uh, got to Caesarea that a prophet named Agabus uh, came there and, and he uh, did this thing where he uh, tied Paul's belt around his hands. And then he said, the Holy Spirit says, in this way, the Jews of Jerusalem will bind the owner of this belt and hand him over to the Gentiles. And so they're all urging Paul, don't go to Jerusalem, don't go. And Paul says, no, we're going to go anyway. And so he does go and he and his companions arrive there. Um, After they get to Jerusalem, Paul checks in with with James, uh, the leader of the church and the elders there. He uh, tells them all about uh, the ministry that's been going on among the Gentiles that he's been doing. Um, and then James and the elders tell Paul about how some of the Jewish believers are saying that that Paul is telling Gentiles they don't need to be circumcised. They don't need to keep the law of Moses, which, by the way, is probably true uh, because this same group of elders with, with James uh, decided that uh, back in Acts chapter 15, the Gentiles didn't have to do all that stuff. Um, but they say, you know, Paul, these, these, these Jews are very upset about this. So, so here's what we want you to do. Um, there are these four Jewish guys who are, are taking a vow and they're going to seal the deal with a ritual in the temple. And so why don't you go up and be their sponsor for this? Then everybody will see that, that you're a good Jewish boy, uh, that you care about the law of Moses. And so uh, Paul agrees to, to do this. Uh, he goes with these guys for their ritual at the temple. Now, let me stop with just, just looking at the flow of the passage there before, uh, before you know, things break loose and Paul gets arrested, uh, which is going to happen, because I see a number of key takeaways here already. For one, just the issue of when do you do something, not because it's, it's the right thing to do before God, it's the moral thing to do, but just in order to satisfy uh, the concerns and not upset certain people. Um, You know, Paul, I suspect he couldn't have cared less about this, you know, this, these guys and their ritual purification rites, but he goes along with this anyway, because he doesn't want to offend these Jewish believers. Now, there are other times where Paul on principle said, nope, not going there. We're going to stand our ground. We're we're going to do this. Um, And he he does offend and he doesn't seem to care about that. But here he, he takes steps to not offend. And secondly, he does this in submission to James and the elders of the Jerusalem church. Again, I I doubt Paul thought this issue was was important at all, but he recognizes, okay, these guys are in authority. What they're asking me to do isn't anything that's wrong. And and even though I don't really think it's necessary, um, I'll I'll go along and I'll, I'll I'll do what they say. But the big takeaway really for me personally here has to do with these warnings that Paul receives to not go to Jerusalem. And two things about this really strike me. The the one is that just because a course of action is one that we think is going to involve conflict, controversy, maybe some pain and suffering, doesn't mean we're not supposed to do it. Not that we should go out looking for pain and suffering, but sometimes, you know, Conflict, controversy, and pain uh, are kind of part of the program uh, when we're, we're seeking to do what God calls us to do. But what I find really intriguing and really instructive about this is, is these believers in Tyre who urged Paul not to go to Jerusalem, it says very explicitly in the text that it was through the Spirit, the Holy Spirit of God, that they urged Paul to, to not go. And then, and then this guy Agabus says, you know, the Holy Spirit says you're going to get in trouble if you do this. So does this mean that, that Paul, when he went to Jerusalem, was disobedient to the Holy Spirit of God? Well, maybe. 
But you see, if that were true, that would also mean that that the Holy Spirit of God seems to work through our disobedience, times where we get it wrong, where we misread him, because he certainly continued to use Paul in a mighty way. I think it makes more sense to see this as an example, as an illustration of how even when the Holy Spirit of God is leading, that sometimes disagreements among God's people about strategy, you know, should we go here, should we do this or not, that these things are are pretty normal things to happen among us, pretty expected. Um, doesn't mean that those on one side are, are more spiritual or more in touch with God uh, than, than the others. I mean, those counseling Paul not to go to Jerusalem, their, their big concern was that, that Paul's life and his witness be preserved uh, for as long as possible. And so they said, you know, the Holy Spirit was telling them this. But Paul also made it clear in the chapters before this that the Holy Spirit of God was telling him that he was going to suffer. So what do we do? <laughs> you know, what do we do when we believe that, that God is, is calling us to do something? We're being led of God to this. We're, we're, it, we're on sound godly principles there. But we find ourselves disagreeing on terms of strategy with other people who are also feeling that they're led by the Spirit of God. It's not an easy, easy issue to deal with. But often, often I think what we do is we, we agree to disagree, even as we support our brothers and sisters doing what they believe that God is calling them them to do. Well, thanks much for tuning in and listening and um, hope to see you in person sometime soon.